You know, I enjoy seeing things grow, and it's always fun to see how things progress when you're trying something new. This is our planting of coal crops for the fall, and a few weeks ago we planted these under these hoops. We put shade cloth on top because it was real hot, drip irrigation, which this week we don't need because we've had an awful lot of rain, and we've kept the screen, screening fabric on here. This is just floating row cover fabric to screen out any insects that may be causing damage. We have a tiny bit of insect damage, but very little compared to if we left these out in the open air where cabbage loopers could freely lay their eggs and look how tall they're growing now. They're doing really well. Well, there are some plants that don't do so well in the cool fall season, and that includes a lot of annuals that we've planted around the Oklahoma Gardening Studio for seasonal color. Right now's the time you need to be taking cuttings of coleus and other annuals if you're going to get them through the winter and put them back out in your yard next spring. So let's head over to the greenhouse and give you some tips on that as well. Well, our first big cold front of the fall is just coming through, and we just have time to go around the garden and gather up some cuttings of our seasonal color, such as coleus, pentas, some of the herbs and so forth, and we want to get those potted up and into the greenhouse as soon as possible. I have some plum parfait cuttings here from our coleus garden, and uh, I want to dip those in a little bit of rooting hormone. You don't have to do this, but this will speed the process. Just dip it in there, tap it off lightly, and then stick those in and you can make a little hole ahead of time so you don't knock off all the rooting powder and then firm the soil in around it. Make sure that you use a soilless mix with this. You can pinch off some of those lower leaves where the, the node is because that's where your roots are going to come out below the soil line and that will speed things up a little bit. I want to mention that before you do this, it's a good idea to spritz the plants a little bit. We've just come out of a rain shower, so these have plenty of moisture on them. And then when you're done, mist them again. Now we'll be taking ours over to our teaching greenhouse on the OSU campus and putting them in a misting propagation chamber. But take a look at these cuttings right here. These are just done a few days ago. This is Joseph's coat that we took from our studio gardens and that is already starting to root. Let's pull one of these out and take a look at it. It'll be all right. We'll just gently ease it back in there. These were just put in, what, about a week ago, and already they have a root system. So this is an easy thing you can do this fall. If you have some favorite annuals that you've had in the garden that you want to get potted up and protected from any chances of fall frost. We have also have some herbs that we'll be doing. And although thyme can overwinter pretty readily, a lot of our ambassadors really like the different types of thyme that we have. We have tangerine scented thyme, lemon thyme, silver thyme, creeping thyme, and just common thyme. And the cuttings for those can also be taken just like with the coleus, only it's a little bit longer and there are many, many nodes on here. You can also dip that in rooting hormone and again, just prepare your little hole and dip that down in the potting mix. It's a very easy step to take very easy way to propagate them. Another way that you could propagate thyme is to lay some of the stems down in the garden and ease a little bit of soil over that and air layer them or, or layer them in the soil and get them to rooting that way. But if you want to share some with your friends or bring some indoors, this is the time to do it and it's an easy process. So give it a try. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.